if you could bring a retired player back into the IPL to play for any team of your choice, then which player would you pick? Gautam Gambhir. One of whom we've seen on our screens after and before every match. We have with us Nashpreet. Hello, Nashpreet. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you, Joel? I'm good. Thank I'm you for good. having me on the show. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. And there is so many, so many of your fans who are already waiting for this episode to come out. They're already waiting, eagerly waiting for the things that you have to say. So there's a lot of buzz around, buzz around this. Yeah, okay. Let's. But be nice to me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, the, the way we plan to do this is in three segments. So, initially, I'll take up your opinions on uh, mm -hmm. sports journalism and broadcasting in general, Some something about your experiences in this IPL. In the second segment, we'll take up questions that people have sent in for you. And then finally, we'll do a quick rapid fire where I'll try to put you in a bit, uh, one or two dot of spots. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Right. So I'll move to my first segment directly. And the first question that I have for you is about you. So um, if, if I'm not wrong, you were in the, in the industry of modeling and you were in the industry, something different to uh, sports anchoring. So when is it that you decided to make this turn into sports anchoring and what was your motivation behind it? So, um, you know, I never really thought that I would be doing this. I sort mm -hmm. of just went with the flow of life said yes to all the opportunities that sort of came my way and it eventually led to this you know for the longest time actually my friends kept saying you know you're doing well you've got a great voice you should really anchor and i did a few gigs here and there just to see if i liked it and i did it was quite nice but then ultimately i was like yeah i want to be like you know a travel host you know travel to beautiful places and you know do all of that and then i sort of fell into sports anchoring uh, which was a whole new area. Like I had never even thought of it. And then I was like, okay, let's, let's give it a go and see how I feel about it. And I did, and I loved it. So I, I just, really, there was no, there was no plan. I just went with the flow of things and tried it, loved it, and I'm doing it. And that could be one major takeaway. You just have to keep going with the flow for everybody who's watching it. And yeah, yeah. And I tell this, and you know, a lot of people are like, Nash, how, how can you just go with the flow, you know, plan things about your life, you know, plan, plan, plan. Yeah. And I was like, trust me, it never works. <laughs> five years ago, 10 years ago, if you'd asked me what you want to be or where you see yourself in five, 10 years, I would have never said that I see myself doing like sports anchoring for such a prestigious channel in India, living in India, you know, so I wouldn't have been able to say that or plan that at all you can't plan these things exactly. you just go with the flow and, and right now if i ask you where do you see yourself in five years does, does that mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> um con well now I, I think yeah i'm quite certain some so definitely in this field i do see myself progressing more and more in this field of mm -hmm. sports anchoring for sure Right. So when if I move directly to this IPL, it was a bit different compared to how other editions or how the sport has been for so long with the crowd. And um, to be in a season where uh, you're doing this for the first time, A, and B, you know there is an additional pressure of delivering a stadium-like experience uh, on their screens. There are millions of people watching. Uh, do you think there was any positive to how uh, things changed without a crowd, how broadcasting changed and how you were reaching a bigger audience? Um, you know, I think the fact that amidst COVID, amidst what's happening right now in the world, the fact that we were still able to hold this huge tournament and then bring it to people's home, that itself is a positive in itself, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I remember when, there, when the talks were still happening as to how we're going to do the IPL, what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't sure that it would happen. Yeah. I, I just thought that, no, this, this year is, came up with so many surprises. I was like, no, I don't think so. It's going to be able to sort of pull it through. And the whole bio bubble idea, no, I wasn't confident in any of that. You know, so many people, hundreds of people in the bio bubble, I mean, yeah. something would go wrong for sure. You know, so. There were lots of up and down in my head initially, and then uh, and then we pulled it off, and we did it, and we and it was the most watched IPL yeah. in the history of IPL, you know. So, so I think that's a huge positive, huge. 
right and we were with- all surprised by the end of it we were all surprised by the end of it that it was such a big success and that the bio bubble everyone but you know it's so great that everyone at star we sort of came together we were away from our family and friends for two months some even more than two months and you know and we worked hard and we did this for you know cricket fans and ipl fans out there yeah and so, if i ask you about this bio bubble so uh, a way where something that comes into my mind what was more difficult getting into this bio bubble having all of those lifestyle changes staying there or then finally getting out of it and going back to all of these precautions and being sure that you're taking care of yourself so this bio bubble <laughs> um what like what a concept right it's, yeah. it's i i can't believe i did that i can't believe i just was in this bubble for two months sometimes you know but i'm new to anchoring by the way it was mm-hmm. my first time doing a big gig like this uh i'm new to star i was new to star at that point and uh i didn't i didn't know anybody i had no friends there so i was going in thinking oh my god like this is going to be this is going to be a difficult one you know how how is it going to go there were a lot of confusions and a lot of hesitations in my head but then when i went in everyone was so lovely everyone was so welcoming everyone was in the same spot in ter- being away from friends and family so we sort of provided that support and you know we were there for each other really in the two and a half months of the ipl and um it wasn't as hard as i thought it would be it was actually quite easy being in that bubble but coming out <laughs> now that was a completely different story because now going into the bubble you're you know you've got people there you're in a comfortable hotel yeah. you're trying to go to your studio it's 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 comfortable now coming out it was hot i was like oh my god did i not feel the weather all this time that i was in the bubble like and i was feeling extremely hot and i couldn't cross the road it was just too much noise and chaos happening everywhere like first day i was just like oh god i i could not cross the road i was getting a rickshaw getting in it to take me to the other side of the road yeah. you know because i was just not sure that i'd be able to gauge the distance and all of that so yeah first day was a little bit difficult coming out of it but then you know you get used to it. we're humans our best quality about us that we really adapt and get used to things so, yeah, yeah. so i was excited to go inside the bubble and i was also excited to come out once it was done so it was it was nice and talking about adaptiveness i'll take you to something about this ipl uh, rahul dravid mentioned that uh, we can adapt to another new team there should be an additional team because of the uh, the pool of talent that we have in india your opinion on that do you think it is the right team to add say one or two teams to the ipl or uh, we should wait for a little while i agree with him mm-hmm. there uh, there's so much so much talent out there and i feel like not everyone is getting that opportunity to sort of play and it would be great why not it would yeah. be great to have another team or two you know it's the more the merrier i think i i'm up for that for sure and rahul dravid yeah I, he should lead a team you know? he should mentor he should like he should be part of the, the team as well that would be nice there, there was so much young talent coming up that has been crediting rahul dravid for their success and naming him as the man behind their confidence heading into the tournament so i completely agree with what you said yeah yeah definitely why not yeah right so with that i'll take you to our second segment so it's going to be about questions that people have sent in for you so we've taken out three of these questions and the first one is from someone called shandi so she's asking you that um heading into a match day there must be a lot of research and a lot of say nerves when you head into a live show with millions of people watching you on applications on tv so how do you prepare for a match day if you could describe your day from the start to the point that you go live you know the first time that i went live uh when i like basically you get told okay so this is what you're doing tomorrow you're going live mm-hmm. the first time that i was going to go live I did not sleep at night. And when I did sleep, I think I dozed off for an hour or two. And I, all I was dreaming was about like the teams, the the players and like like weird dreams I was getting, yeah. you know. Then I would wake up in the morning and I would like obviously you go through the newspaper, you go through I I tend to go through like Crick and Fo, Crick Buzz. Mm-hmm. See what's buzzing, you know. And then obviously we usually receive a stat pack. Yeah. So like we get it on email. where 
lots of stats about the teams, the players, how they've performed in the past, history, you know, the key battles, which players are important and things like that, who we want to talk about. So we do receive like, but it's big. So you have to like go through and read through it. But I remember the first, oh my God, the first time I did live, I was just stressed from like night till the time I like was, even like I was standing there, I was just stressed, but then you just put a smile on and you just have to like not show it through to the audience, you know, but we are freaking really stressed, not even stressed, like nervous and stressed, like everything, you know, and, mm -hmm. but then also you get this rush of energy and adrenaline, which also makes you feel good. So yeah. you're like, wait a minute, I'm feeling this way, but I feel good about it, you know? So it was a very weird feeling when I first went live. And then after that, you sort of get used to it. Mm -hmm. um, instead of stressing at night, I would start stressing like in the morning. <laughs> and then after, and then the third, fourth show, then instead of stressing in the morning, I would stress about two, three hours before the show, mm -hmm. you know? So then it got better and better and better. And we have, and you know, one thing about Star is that we have a great team around us. We have a great support system. So any help, any questions, we can just, there's a lot for us there to learn from. And you know, good thing was that living in this bubble, one positive, there you go, is that we were surrounded, we actually lived with all these experts that we were mm -hmm. in the studios with, like Brian yeah. Lara, Brett Brain Swan, Irfan Patan, um, all these people were with us. Yeah. So yeah. they were like great to learn from. Any questions, we just go to them, you know? And, and they was just so good in, you know, answering our questions and just helping us around. So that was one of the positives that I took out of this IPL. You know, if it was a normal IPL, you wouldn't have so much access yeah. to them. But in this IPL, we had like unlimited access to them, you know, so which was great. I'll move to the next question. We have one from Prakar. So he's saying, and it's, I think it's a tough one. He's saying through my, out of all of the pool of hosts that you worked with in this IPL, if you could pick only one and that is the one you work with for the rest of your career in broadcasting, then who would you pick? An anchor. Yeah. One anchor. Any, any, anyone you work with this IPL, you can name anybody. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, there were so many of us, you know, there was, there were, there was Ta Tanya, there was Jathan yeah. in the Hindi team, and then there was Sohail, Kira, me, and the English team. You know, I think I'm going to pick one anchor that I can work with the rest of my life. I think I would uh, pick Tanya Burohit. Yeah, I think she's she's a lovely person and she, her energy is just so great mm -hmm. that I, I would just want her around me all the time. And you know, she's that, you just automatically feel good next to her. So she's one of those persons. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's a, I have had only one. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make her watch it. <laughs> I'll take you to our third segment now. It's the rapid fire segment. So the rules are as, it, as they are always. You just have to say the first thing that comes to your head. So the first one for you is uh, the funniest moment associated with cricket that you were a part of, on or off your studio. See, the moment that pops, when you ask me that question, I mean, there were lots, but the yeah. one thing that pops into my head was, do you remember that Chris Jordan long run that yeah. he did? Yeah, so I remember watching that. It was Kings 11 from on top of my head. Kings 11 mm -hmm. Punjab uh, versus Mumbai Indians, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that long run. But what was funny was that Brian Lara enacted that in our studios. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of the funniest. Oh, moments. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did that up the deck. I collected it. <laughs> so it was funny to watch Chris Jordan and yeah he's he's too funny he's great yeah right and if i ask you who is your favorite cricketer in the current indian team hardik pandya hardik pandya perfect and in the <laughs> segment i'll ask you to take a pick between two things so it'll, it'll be like this or that sort of thing so the first one is who do you think was more entertaining chris gale on the field or graham swan in the dugout oh god that's a difficult one Oh God, you know, Chris Gale was entertaining on the field. Graham Swan was entertaining off the field, but I got to see more of Swanee. Yeah. So, 
and he was just not he was not just funny in the select dugout he yeah. was just funny all the time like all the time mm-hmm. and i still love seeing his face you know as soon as you like get to the studios you want to see someone it was swanny because he just made you laugh so i'm going to go with swanny perfect and if if you've to take your pick on who was the better find of this season devdat padikal as a batsman or ravi bishnoi as a bowler you know all the new talent which is so amazing this season um but i think i'm going to have to go with devdat padikal Dave the particular perfect and um out of all of these rags to riches stories and the heartwarming stories that we get through the IPL there were two that stood out so if you could pick the more heartwarming story between Natraj and Jayaprakash and Varun Chakravarty you know because Natraj is now playing for India and mm-hmm. he's doing so well i think overall they would i'd have I'd go with him yeah team Natraj mm-hmm. Perfect. And uh, your favorite team in this season? You know, we're not supposed to have favorites, <laughs> <laughs> but but I was a bit more inclined towards one team, mm-hmm. uh, and that was uh, RCB. RCB. Perfect. You know, I really wanted a new winner this season. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I wanted I, someone I think new to win. That's the expectation everybody had heading to the Delhi and Mumbai finals. Yeah, so you know. Yeah. And RCB, they'd never won it, and you know this year they were sort of doing well and they won the top 4 and i really wanted them to sort of have it this year but once they were out i was then inclined towards the delhi capitals <laughs> so right and and if you could pick someone to bat for your life who would you pick that's a good question <laughs> that's a good question and a tough one bat my whole life <laughs> hardik pandya hardik pandya right now Okay, yeah. and and conversely, if you had to pick a bowler who had to bowl for your life, Rabada. Maybe so, Rabada. Perfect. Yeah. And I, I'll good move. one. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, right. Good choice. And uh, definitely, and and I'll move a bit away from cricket. I'll move into your preferences in your personal life. So, if you could pick, who is your favorite actor and your favorite actress? My favorite actor is Amir Khan. My favorite actress is Tabu. Perfect. and um if if there was uh, there was a situation where you get to have only one movie that you can watch for the remainder of your life and you cannot pick on any other movie so the the one movie that you pick <laughs> forest gump perfect that was and, beautiful i've already watched the movie a few times and i still feel like i could watch it more so i guess that yeah bollywood should i pick a bollywood wait of course bollywood i think it will be dil chahta hai dil chahta hai wo Perfect. Right. Yeah. yeah. And 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 if uh, out of all of the movies that you love, if you could pick one of them to play the lead role in, then which one would you go with? I really liked Ram Leela and Baji Rao Masani. So out of the two, I'd love to play any of sort of Deepika's role. I think that would be just so good experience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That. And your favorite holiday destination? I I know you've been uh, been on a big holiday right now, but out of everywhere that you've been to, your favorite destination? New Zealand. New Zealand. And um, yeah. when you're maintaining your diets, what is your favorite cheat meal? You know, it's cheesecake. You can just give me lots and lots of cheesecake, and I would just have that. That's what do you want that? <laughs> My cheat meal is just lots and lots of cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And um, I'll move back to cricket. So, if you could bring a retired player back into the IPL to play for any team of your choice, then which player would you pick? Gautam Gambhir. Gautam Gambhir, perfect. And um, in the next set of questions, I'll, I'll name an individual, and you have to tell me what's the first thing that you would do in a scenario where you wake up as them. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> this is a top one. So the first one here is right. KL Rahul. KL Rahul. If I woke up as KL Rahul, I would give Kings Eleven Punjab like a revamp, a new look, completely. And mm-hmm. I'll go follow this anchor from Star Sports, Cody <laughs> Street, on it. <Instagram>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to tag him. Yeah. Put it through. <laughs> Right. And if you woke up as your fellow anchor, so he'll jump up. I'll wake up early. He always sleeps too late, you know. So I'll wake up early. Okay. If I woke up as so, I'll be like up early. Yeah. And if you if you wake up as the bigger Padukone. Oh my god. 
Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> I woke up as Deepika. I would get my next Halloween costume from Ranveer's closet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's that's an interesting one. And um, yeah. you wake up as Chris Gayle. I get married. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you woke up as Ashish Nehra. Ooh, I would eat as much as I can on that day because it's so fit. Like, yeah, I would just eat and eat and eat because I wouldn't gain weight. And one final one: If you woke up as Mitali Raj, I would go play in the gully, one of the you know gully matches, gully cricket, and surprise or shock all the boys that a girl can play cricket. Perfect. And um, in the next set of questions, so the so I'll name a set of brothers who've represented the same country, and in any made situation, one of them couldn't have played for their nation. So which one would you pick? To play for the nation, which one would you pick? Does not get to play. Up to you. So you give me the option. I'll tell you which one I would play for the nation. Perfect. So the first one is the brothers from Pakistan, Umar Akmal and Kamran Akmal. Umar. Okay. Um, from India, Irfan Pathan and Yusuf Pathan. Irfan. Irfan. Uh, was trip moving to Australia. Sean Marsh and Mitchell Marsh. Mitchell. Mitchell Marsh. Mitchell Marsh. Um, I, I think I know the answer to the next one. It's Hardik Pandya, Krunal Pandya. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And um, from South Africa, morning, Mokil or Rajni Mokil? Morning. Morning, Mokil. And, and I think this is the toughest one of the lot. Uh, Mark Waugh or Steve Waugh? Steve. Steve Waugh. Perfect. And um, if you could, from this uh, season of the IPL, what's your team of the season? I have to make a team. Mm-hmm. This is the most difficult. I don't know how people do this. Is like they all time playing eleven because there are just so many fantastic players, especially from this IPL. All right, um, Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mess this up because I'm thinking too much. There's so many players just running in my head like this, and I'm just like, wait, no, wait, what? <laughs> okay, Kate, I'll, I'm just gonna do one. KL Rahul, um, Virat Kohli, mm-hmm. AB Davilius. Hardik Pandya, mm-hmm. Andre Russell. I'm gonna pick four overseas yeah. as well. It's two of you. Uh, Imran Tahir. Okay. Rabada. No, that's your overseas. Bumrah. Yeah. T- yeah. Tina Trajan. One more, right? Yeah. Maybe Shami. Shami. Let's do Shami. Yeah. Shami. Okay. Yeah. Good. And um, in, in the ongoing series between India and Australia, the death series that is about to come up, oh, what's your prediction? Where would it head towards? You know, I, ever since this India-Australia uh, games are happening, the series is happening, because I grew up in Australia. I'm yeah. originally it's Australian. And now I'm, yeah, everyone's like, you tell me who you're supporting, you know? India gave you a home, okay? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. <laughs> But I... I'm actually gonna go for India. Okay. Yeah. We we all hope. So. And um, so if 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 I could ask, after all of this experience at your IPL and your experience as an anchor and uh, covering cricket, if you could put into one word what cricket means to you? Fun. <laughs> it's like, fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be realistic. Yeah, it's it's fun. Okay, so that that's it from my side. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you here, and there is a lot of buzz, like I said, around this episode. There is a lot of people waiting for it. So thank you so much for doing this. And anything Anytime. that you would like to say to me or to the fans who are going to be watching this. Um, you know, I have been firstly thank you for having me on your show. It yes. was it was lovely. You're so cute, um, <laughs> and. Uh, you know i've been so overwhelmed by all the love and the support that i've been getting from people i I've, i still can't believe it sometimes it's like wait what me you know why me but it's been so nice it's been so nice i would like to thank everyone who's really supported me through this journey and watched my shows i've had people watch them every time and message me every time saying hey you did great you did this so it really it really lifts my mood whenever i see that and after all the stress that we go through before the show and throughout the live show and then at the end when you receive this kind of um, appreciation it's it's it means the world thank you hey, thank you so much for doing this thank you again thank you